On this episode, I want to talk to renters with rising rental rates and home prices going up. What are you to do? Let's talk about it coming up. Welcome, I am your host, Steve Penna. Hey, realtor and host of the Steve Talks Real Estate Show where we bring you value, content, and tips in all things real estate and housing related. So on this episode, I want to talk to renters. It's a very interesting dynamic we are currently in with rental rates on the rise and home prices still climbing. It could be a very tight situation for a lot of people. Oftentimes, with home prices going up, it's usually the younger population or the first time home buyers that are found being left out of the market due to rising uh, home prices. And it's very interesting because at the same time, we are facing rental rates on the increase as well. So renting is not necessarily a bad thing. There are seasons in life where renting is a must and it's okay. Everybody doesn't have to buy a house right now, even though I wish everybody would buy a house, but everybody's situation is completely different. So if you are found having to rent, what are you to do? I want you to pay attention to these three tips to help you stay on track towards home ownership. Here we go. Number one, get your finances in order. Oftentimes, when we are found in a situation where we are renting, the last thing on our mind is buying a house. And because of that, we put our finances on the back burner. We don't have a budget, we just spend, we don't save, we don't worry about using our credit cards. And oftentimes, when the opportunity comes to actually buy a house, since we weren't preparing ourselves during our rental season, we come to find ourselves struggling and fighting and trying to turn the world upside down just to get a house. During this rental season, get your finances in order. Right now is a great time for you to begin to save money. Right now is a great time for you to keep on working on your credit score, pay down debt. Use this rental season as an opportunity for you to make your financial situation strong. Number two, set some goals in place. These goals are going to help you along the process to make sure you stay on track. Let's say you wanna buy a house in two years. Well, make it a goal to only rent for the next 24 months. And within those 24 months, let's say you wanna save $5,000, $10,000, whatever it is. You make these goals. In six months, I'll have $1,000 saved. In 12 months, I'll have $3,000 saved. Make these goals that'll help you achieve the goal of home ownership. Now, once again, many people in the rental season end up just saying, ah, I'll buy a house when the time comes and you know, they just put it once again in the back burner. But if you set some goals in place and you put them in front of you, I'm going to buy a house in one year. What do I have to do this next year to buy that house? If that goal is in front of you, you will be able to see the steps you have to take in order to achieve that goal. Let's say you wanna buy a house in two years or in three years. Well, what goals do you have to put in place to achieve that? You might have to pay down some debt. So let's say you have a couple credit cards. Well, make it a goal. I'm gonna pay down this credit card. And then after that's done, I'm gonna pay off this credit card. And then I'm gonna pay off this credit card. You get the point here. Let's say you have to save up for a down payment. Let's say you wanna save up 10% for a down payment. You wanna come in strong. Well, how much can you save each month that'll allow you to achieve that goal? Let's say you can save $500. Let's say you can save $200, $1,000, whatever it is. Make some goals that'll allow you to reach the place you want to get to. The first goal you should be making is, how long do you wanna rent for? That could be one year, two years, three years, that's up to you 
to decide. Once again, remember, it's not a bad thing having to rent. Everybody has different seasons in life. If your season has you renting for five years, don't throw those five years away. Make some goals in place and write out that map that'll allow you to reach that goal. Well, that wraps up episode number 80 of the Steve Talks Real Estate Show. My gosh, we are on our way to 100 incredible episodes. We keep bringing you the best in all things real estate. Keep sending in your questions and I will do my best to keep answering them. We'll see you next time.